everybody welcome back ruben with texas all water fishing thanks for coming back i really appreciate each and every one of you don't forget to like comment subscribe and share now i am getting ready to hit out we are just right at the beginning of the flounder run and i am gonna meet my buddy cody dunn we're gonna take his boat out we might be accompanied by another angler i'm not too sure yet i'll find out when i get there but we're gonna go out we're gonna see if we can find some of those flounders i went out yesterday and did a little wade fishing wade fishing session at Sewa park now i didn't catch anything i kind of skunked it for the day ended up with like maybe one little ended up with one little um sand trout we had an outgoing tide, and I'm afraid that outgoing tide just pulled everything and sucked everything off the bank there. So, looking for a little redemption today. So, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, you're going to catch me hooking up. Thanks. You got him? You got him? You got him? You got him? Yeah, we're ready. First fish on for the day. Let's see. Oh, oh. Good one. Need the net? Oh, I was reading the net. Oh, nice. It slipped. Where are we at? 17. That's what I said. Nice. That's what I said. I said 17. I said 17. I said 17. Okay. That's means That's 17. <laughs> so. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Ugh. If it's a flounder, if it's a flounder, it not really feel like a flounder. Ugh. Not really feel like a flounder. Oh, oh I found her. No, I got him. You got him? Yeah. Good job. I'd rather be lucky than good. You got him? Back to back. Back to back! Kodias! Mine's not cute. No. Really? And you lost Did your lure. You say it like that with authority? And you lost no. your lure. No. no. I'm gonna fly in slow motion. Uh. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's got a nice curve Dude, to him. He's thick. Might be 18. Dude, he is very thick. Look how thick yeah, that guy yeah, is. He might be 18. He's cold. See how they curl up like that? That means they're chilly. Making my mouth water. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby. 17 and a half. Just a little over. Oh, you had to catch a bigger one than me, huh? A little over. Yeah, so. Well. Bleep, bleep. Someone got to. <laughs> someone got to do it. All right, bud. There we are. Look at that. Right at sunrise. Can you measure shit? I got one to, you know, measure too. Oh, I thought he was 13. <laughs> now they're fighting. Flounder's attack. So yeah, hell, hell just touch 15. Is it? Yeah, barely. Um, barely, I'm barely. Double. Is it double or double? So I caught one. <laughs> he caught one. He ate two. And he ate two. He was super so hungry. two flounder. <laughs> three hooks in the mouth. Three. <laughs> well, he said three gulps. <laughs> Golly, how did he get that in there? I don't that's know a, how you fish big, that big old fish, the big old big head. Look at how big. Look at that. <laughs> and he got this, the pinky too. That don't. That that's pretty cool. We got that. That don't happen very often. I want to do it, but I'm going to get tangled up. That's the bad thing about the double rigs. It's tangled the tandem. Up. You tangle up, it's time to tangle on. 
I read that somewhere. I think it was in the Bible. Yeah. And what was it? Tangle up and tangle If you get tangled up, just tangle along. What the hell? You, you're in his gill. Here. You shouldn't play with your food. <laughs> yeah, that's a retie. That's a retie if I've ever seen one. All right. Now that now that you're disgusting, er, let's let's see him. Oh yeah, he's 17. Yeah, 17 and a half. 17 and a half, right there. It's a nice fish. Is Flynn a brick? Here. Wait, 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 measure him. You didn't measure him? Code is. I gotta know. The public got to know code. They gotta know. 16 and... 16 and a half. 16 and, yeah, 16 and a half. One. It feels heavy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's oh, a doormat. That's, that's, that's a doormat. Ooh, he's barely hooked. Ooh, he's barely hooked. Oh <laughs> man, he looks barely hooked. <laughs> ah, I got that good, good. Cody? Yeah. Ooh, nothing. That is a wrap. That was a great time for us on the water, out there fishing with my buddy, Captain Cody Dunn. Now, we weren't done for that day. We ended up catching a quite a lot of flounder out there. There was just a ton of flounder. Now, we do hit those lows and those patches of the day where we just simply weren't catching anything. But we just continue to cast and cast. And in my mind, I am thinking that more flounder move in and move out of the area throughout the day so when you start hooking up again that's when you have just another little flounder run or simply flounder moving in to that area that we were fishing now like i said before one of the areas that you want to tar target is that structure is that wall so we were fishing right against a bulkhead cast to the bulkhead and retrieving the lure slowly on bottom or simply bouncing it in short little hops on bottom trying to lure and entice that flounder to bite, entice that strike. Now I primarily fish what gulp all day. It is really one of my go-to lures out there. I, there's also a handful of other lures that I like to fish with when I am targeting flounder. But in this particular case, I just went out and bought a few packs of gulp. So I was fishing with those guys. Now, I know the downside of fishing with gulp is that you tear up a lot of their plastics. You go through a lot of baits when you are fishing with them. But in my mind, there's really very few other lures that will entice that flounder bite. Now, this particular day, I was throwing a lot of white and some pink. It seemed like they, the flounder really react well to the pink. And I was also throwing the, the, uh, the chartreuse as well. Sometimes I like to throw that new penny with the shark shoes tail i threw it a few times but they just weren't receptive to it they just weren't biting and they weren't responding well to that new penny and shark shoes tail so i switched it up to a white and i caught a few fish on the white but i caught that real nice 19 incher on the full chartreuse swim mullet 
at that point I was throwing a tandem rig. I did try Cody's Dunn's Get Her Done rig, but it seemed like every time that I retied that rig, I threw into the bulkhead and I got hung up. So I really broke off a lot. So I didn't, and unfortunately, sometimes it happens, you forget some of your tackle. So I forgot some of the weights that I like to use for that for that rig. So instead, I really primarily focus and throw a tandem rig. But you can never go wrong with either one. And like I said before, I will have a video coming out to show you how Cody ties that get her done rig. Unfortunately, at the end of our last two trips, we were just so dog tired. We just had nothing else to give. We were planning on making that. We were planning on showing you at the launch how we tie or how he ties that rig. But we were just so wiped. We just wanted just to clean up, pack it up, and head home. We probably fished for well over 12 hours that day. But like I said, we just had a fantastic time on the water. There, This is a two-part video, so I do have some more of that footage. We stopped at the Yacht Basin and had ourselves a little bit of lunch. We also picked up our buddy Eric, and he came out and caught a few fish with us as well. I think for the day we went, I think for the day we caught near maybe 50 flounder. So stay tuned for some more of that footage on this particular trip. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel and coming back and watching time and time again. Thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.